Hi guys, in this A-level IB chemistry video, I'm basically picking out one very hard maths question and we're going to work through it step by step to see how to solve it. So it's going to involve calculating empirical formulae using the ideal gas equation and then understanding the difference between molecular and empirical formulae. So we're going to do it bit by bit and obviously watch my other videos where I've actually dealt with empirical formulae and the ideal gas equation. Um, if you're not too happy, but I want to, I want you to see how you can build together these different methods to solve very difficult questions. So, an organic compound A containing only the elements carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen was analysed. A was found to contain 54.5% carbon and 9.1% hydrogen by mass. The remainder being oxygen, and we're being asked to determine the empirical formula. In part B, a 0.23 gram sample of A had a volume of 0.0785 decimeters cubed at 95 degrees Celsius and 102 kPa, and we're being asked to determine the relative molecular mass of A. And then lastly, we're combining our answers from A and B to find the molecular formula. So plenty to do here. So let's start with part A. So we're doing a straightforward empirical formula calculation, so hopefully this will be quite similar to what you did at GCSE and IGCSE. So we start by listing our compounds, which is carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. And we're going to use our table for this. So in your table, you want to write mass, MR, number of moles. And remember, you're going to be using this formula triangle, which states that mass equals number of moles times MR. And then you're basically ready to go. So what information have you been given? Well, you've been told that the compound is 54.5% carbon. And remember, because it's basically a ratio, you can just copy that number down as being the mass of carbon. The same is true for hydrogen, so that's 9.1. And then to work out the amount of oxygen you want to do, because it obviously the substance as a whole adds up to 100%, so you need to do 100, take away 54.5, take away 9.1, to get 36.4 as your amount of oxygen. Now the MR, use your periodic table to help you with this. So carbon is 12.01, hydrogen is 1.01, .01, oxygen is 16. Periodic tables will vary slightly, so don't worry if the numbers differ slightly. To work out the number of moles according to our formula triangle, we can see that we need to do mass divided by MR, so that's for carbon, 54.5 divided by 12.01 to get 4.54. Hydrogen, we're doing 9.1 divided by 1.01 and we get 9.0099. For oxygen, 36.4 divided by 16, 2.275. And then we need a ratio here. So what you need to do is look at these three numbers, decide which is the smallest number, and then divide every single number by that number. So let's write an instruction here. So 4.54 divided by 2.275 equals 1.99. 9.0099 divided by 2.275 equals 3.96 and obviously 2.275 divided by itself is 1 and now we need to round these numbers because we need whole number ratios so that becomes 2 this becomes 4 this is still 1 here's your ratio so therefore your empirical formula is C2H4O so part A is done so in the second part of the question B a 0.23 gram sample of A had a volume of 0.0785 decimeters cubed at 95 degrees Celsius and 102 kPa. Determine the relative molecular mass of A. So even if you don't know how to find the relative molecular mass of A, have a look at the numbers you've been given and hopefully they'll be screaming the ideal gas equation at you. So even if you don't know what you're doing, just get going and actually do some maths. So let's write out the ideal gas equation here, PV equals NRT. You do need to know that. P, remember, stands for pressure. So we're going to list all these values here So we've because we need to make sure they're all in the correct unit. This is of vital importance. So first of all, taking pressure, which we've been told is 102 kPa. Remember, that needs to be in Pascals. So you want to multiply that number by 1,000 to make sure it's in the correct unit, as I've done there. V is our volume, that needs to be in metres cubed, so we take our decimetres cubed number and we divide by a thousand 
to make sure it's in the right unit. N, there's no number of moles given, so we can kind of hazard a guess that that will be our unknown value. Therefore, I'm assigning it X. R is the gas constant, which you need to know off by heart, which is 8.31. And lastly, temperature. Remember, this needs to be in Kelvin. So we take our degrees Celsius and we add 273 to it in order to make it into Kelvin. So now we're ready to find out the number of moles. So our pressure is 102,000 pascals. Our volume is 0 0.0785 times 10 to the minus 3. Number of moles is what we're after. R is 8.31. Temperature is, let's just work that out now, 273 plus 95 to get 368. Sort out the left-hand side first of all by doing 102,000 times 0 0.0785 times 10 to the minus 3. And you get 8.007. To sort out the right-hand side, we need to do 8.31 times 368 and you get 3058 here times by n to get n by itself you want to divide both sides by 3058 and you get a number of moles which is 2.6183 times 10 to the minus 3 and now we're ready to find our relative molecular mass and we've been given a mass in the question which is 0. 2, 3 grams. So we need to use this number now here because we haven't touched it. We've been, we have the number of moles which we've just calculated. So actually we're ready to find the MR of this compound. So let's write out the formula that we're using which is MR equals mass divided by number of moles. Our mass was given as being 0 0.23. Our number of moles is 2.6183. Keep that number in your calculator times 10 to the minus 3. And when you pop that into your calculator, you get a value which is 87.8 grams. And that is your answer. And if you're still with me, let's do part C. And I promise this is the easiest bit. So we're looking for the molecular formula of A using our answers from A and B. So they've signposted what we need to do. So first of all, write out your empirical formula, which remember was C2H4O. And we know the relative molecular mass of A is 87.8. .8. And then what you need to do here is compare that relative molecular mass you calculated with the mass of the empirical formula. So genuinely just work out the MR of C2H4O. So use your periodic table. So the mass of carbon is 12.01 plus the mass of hydrogen, which is 1.01 .01 multiplied by 4. And then lastly, the mass of oxygen. Work that out to get 44.02. These calculations are a little bit approximate. And then compare that with the mass you calculated in part B. So you need to do 87.8 divided by that number to get 1.99, which is approximately 2. So in order to determine your molecular formula, because effectively you have twice as much mass compared with the empirical formula, you just need to multiply, therefore, your empirical formula by 2. So it becomes C4H8O2. Right, that was quite a tricky question. Lots of different maths elements, but hopefully you can see that even if you're not quite sure where the question's going, you can implement other bits of chemistry to help you head the right way. And find